Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Sabrina Dragon probably brings to you Deck Profile. Don't forget, like and subscribe buttons down below. Check me out on Facebook. Leave a comment down below what you think of my Evo deck. This is a pure Evo build. And I, the reason I'm doing it on the computer with DevPro instead of actual cards is because I don't have all the cards fully, so I'd rather uh, do it on here so that way you can see the full deck and get a good idea of how this deck runs. So this deck starts off with uh, two Evil Source Serratos, level 4 when it's special summoned by Evil Tile Effect against 200 attack. And then you get to destroy them. When you destroy the monster, you get to search out an Evil Tile from your deck, add it to your hand. Now I run three Diplos. This one, when it's special summoned by an Evil Tile, destroys one spell or trap on the field. Uh, Evil Sword Volcano. When this one's special summoned by an Evil Tile Effect, uh, special summon one Evil Sword from your graveyard. So there's your instant rank 4. Then I run two copies of Evital Casanero. Uh, this one when it destroys a monster by battle. Uh, during, after the battle phase, send this to the graveyard. Special summon two level 6 or lower fire dinosaurs with the same name from your deck. So typically either special summon two Serratos, two Diplos, or two Volcanos. Depending on what you have in your deck available at the time. And then you see summon right after that. And you got three Westlows. Uh, this guy kind of works like uh, armor. In a way, when it's flip summon, you special summon an evil sword from your deck. So that way they get their effects from this guy being flipped. And then you evo force it and get another one out there and do some more shenanigans. Uh, then we got Eva Tile and the Joshua. So when this one's tributed off, you get to special summon an evil sword from your deck. So you typically summon this, evo force it, and get two evil swords at one time. Uh, then I run one evil tile Lagasucho. It's at level 3. When you normal summon it, you can send an evil sword to your graveyard. And then when it's flipped, you can special summon one from your deck. So you summon it, send one, uh, evo force it, special summon, and do your own shenanigans. And then I run one copy of Thunder King. Uh, reason being, it's just more like an anti-meta type deck. So you want to kind of stun your opponent into being able to add cards or special summon right off the bat. Uh, just two copies of Forbidden Lance to kind of protect your uh, main guys of the deck. And like I said, three Evo Force. This lets you special summon an Evo Sword as if it was uh, special summoned by an Evo Tile effect. Then we got three copies of MST to take care of problematic back row. Uh, again, just one copy of Soul Charge. That's all you need for one or two monsters. Uh, one rank up the seventh, and the only reason I'm uh, running that is again because of the extra deck. Since I'm already going to 101 and 104 anyways, uh, it just gives me another way to get a good strong monster on the field. And then for traps, one bottomless, two mirror force, two deep prisons, compulse warning. Just two of the new trap card, Evo Singularity. Uh, you target one Evo Tile and one Evil Sore in your graveyard. And then XC Summon uh, an Evil Czar right on top of it. And then you got two copies of Wiretap, just in case uh, to help like with MST to get rid of your opponent's traps back to the deck. And again, one copy of Mistake, just again for that stun aspect like Thunder King to kind of keep them from adding cards to their from their hand to their deck since you're not really adding a whole lot to your hand at the time it's just more about getting cards on the field as for my extra deck uh, one solda and that's just because of the trap cards three logia the, this is the one you want to mainly keep on the field that way you can negate anything that they would do uh, one dolka to negate any uh, monster effects 104 and c104 for the uh, rank up magic play which this uh, pops a spell card when it's summoned, spell or trap, and then as long as it has 104, you can detach it, uh, negate the effect of the activation of the card, discard one card from their hand, and then cut their life points in half. Uh, two copies of 101. It's easy to make, and because of the C, also the rank up set, rank up magic of the seventh, you kind of want to have a second one available. So when you do go for C 101, you'll have that available. Uh, one Exiton, one Cowboy, one Emerald. This way you can kind of recycle your deck. Uh, one Dweller and one Zen Main, although I'm going to take that out 
instead and I prefer uh, number 49 fortune tune instead of that because it's a little more annoying and it recycles so you can send uh, your level 3's back to the deck as for side decking uh, just two copies of fossil dyna that way you can take care of their special summons uh, one blaster from the random pop and it's a strong beater the third copy of Serato two enemy controllers so you contribute off your Najasho take control of their guys do some more shenanigans uh, mind control since a lot of decks play level fours uh, three copies of no one across out this way you can hit any face down cards and if they're flip effects they go bye bye uh, two copies of pinpoint guard uh, reason I like this is it kind of helps bring these guys back to the field and that way you can set up your next turn uh, and then also Alucard, uh, just another rank 3 to play, number 80, and number 103. So yeah, this has been my Evo deck. Don't forget, like, subscribe buttons down below. Check me out on Facebook. Leave a comment down below what you think of the Evos. And this is Supreme Dragon, signing out.